Hi guys, this is another one of my uh, uncomfortable uh, uh, video messages um, slash tutorial. Uh, we have a very, very good friend who goes by the handle of COVID Cancer Chic. Anyway, she's a di very dear friend of ours. She's going through um, some really difficult chemo um, in central London. She's commuting um, for all of her treatments into central London from Tunbridge Wells. So she is, uh, she's not our NHS hero of the week, but she's our female hero of the week. Um, we've made her um, this amazing matching mask and uh, headscarf um, to help her. Um, but we want to, we promise to show her how you can just make your own headscarf. I call the suburban turban out of any scarf you have in your closet. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna put on my sunglasses so it's actually nicer for your viewing pleasure so you don't have to look at this. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a new hack I've just discovered because as you probably know, if you know me, I have short hair. Now you see all those grays. I did color my hair with a home kit, but I kind of missed all this somehow, so guess how? I touch up my gray here, watch. All right, I'm sharing with you a naughty secret. I take my mascara and I literally just whoosh it. Not really hard or you're gonna have a black scalp and I kind of touch up. Now, beyond the camera is my neighbor, Julie, who is six feet away from me, social distancing. But she is basically laughing her butt off. I think the dog might also be laughing. So anyway, so a little trick. Just because I'm cray cray. Now, but I put on the glasses. Here we go. Now, doesn't that all feel better to you? Okay. Now, the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to start with my very favorite. I'll just put this down a bit. Sorry. Right. So my camera turned off. So now we're going to get to... Um, to Nikki's uh, request, which is how to make a home uh, a headscarf or what I like to call a suburban turban at home. So I'm gonna do a few quick um, demonstrations. I've got one, which is the KBL, uh, Karen Brost um, suburban turban style that I that I just do. I kind of, I'm not sure, I might, might've made it up. But, and the second is my very uh, bestie BFF, Roser Dozer, who you might know as Roz, taught me a second way, which is super cool, when we were in Morocco. Um, so number one, I'm gonna start with probably one of my oldest, uh, possibly skankiest uh, uh, scarves, but it's one of those things you can never part with because it's fluorescent orange, and it's my favorite color. Um, so this one is the first one I'm going to do is the suburban turban KBL style. And all you do is you put, you hold your scarf in the middle, right? doesn't matter the length. It doesn't matter the width, you know, bigger scarves are going to give you a slightly bigger kind of unicorn uh, thing in the front. So right in the middle like this, going to put it against your head. Like you're having, like you're wearing a headband, right? You're gonna take it to the back. You're, you're going to cross over. So again, cross over, right? And then you're gonna bring that to the front and you're gonna make your first tie. And then you're gonna tie a second tie. So basically you're making a knot. You know, try it. It doesn't matter if they're exactly even, whatever. Some of yours might have fringe. It doesn't matter. You can hide it all. So then, now you got your knot, you're going to take this piece and you're going to just tuck it under that, that wrap bit there. Right? And then you're going to take that bit and you're going to tuck it under that little piece that you've wrapped forward. And then... There you go, voila. Now you can decide sometimes when you're doing that very first bit where you're putting the headband on, you might wanna leave a bit of your hair out or you know, whatever, if you wanna have like this little whoosh of hair, whatever. I usually don't care, but um, 
a lot of times I, um, or almost always, because I'm so very old, uh, usually when I get out of the shower, which is now probably estimating every three to four days, I am so old, I put my hair in rollers. So uh, the old fashioned lady rollers with the pins and the whole bit, and I throw on one of my suburban turbans and I go to Waitrose and try to, you know, show my pride for how horrified all the other shoppers are seeing the 1950s weirdo wearing her turban with rollers, right? Okay, so that is the first demonstration. If you're like me, I am severely ADHD. Uh, I just found that out a couple months ago through the uh, intervention of my lifelong best friend, Ginny Turnbull. I'm medicated, but I still feel like I got it, okay? I'm still a little bit cray-cray with the attention span. But in case you're completely ADHD or you're bored, I'm going to do it again. Okay? Hold your scarf. See, this one's a lot skinnier. Doesn't matter. Take it in the middle. Make a headband right on your forehead. Take it to the back. Crisscross. This one little crisscross. You don't tie it. You just kind of crisscross it. Bring it forward. Tie it in a knot. It's a suburban turban. Black and white. Number three. You did your tie, right? You tied that in a knot. Then you take this side. You put it in that little that little part there that you've just brought to the front, that piece. And you do it on the other side. And there you have it, suburban turban number two, right? So this is the suburban turban. And now I'm gonna show you my favorite new one, taught to me by the lovely Roseland uh, in Morocco. So hold on one sec. So right now, <laughs> so I'm gonna show you hers, which is basically the exact opposite of mine. And Rather than making a headband, you're gonna take it in the middle, just like you did. Rather than putting it in the front, you're gonna put it in the back, right? You're gonna put it in the back. You're gonna bring it to the front, right? You're going to cross over, cross over again, right? And now you're gonna take it to the back and you're gonna do your knot. So you basically just did the exact opposite of what you did with my suburban turban. And we're gonna call this, what, the Moroccan, I don't know, the majestic Moroccan? What do you think, Roz? What should we call this one? <sighs> Moroccan mayhem? <laughs> okay, so this is, you know, it's a little bit, maybe a little less uh, unicorny as the Suburban Turban, and it's just quite chic and sophisticated. Um, so depending on your taste and sensibility, obviously I'd, I'd recommend brushing that if you have this happening, because I haven't brushed my hair. Anyways, last thing, not really a tutorial, but just this crazy thing I came across in my sewing room. This is a really nice piece of uh, lace that we found that we've been upcycling for, for lace masks, right? Now it's, it's a pretty big piece, like, you know, size wise, but I'm gonna, I was just thinking how cool this would be as a turban. <laughs> so if you did have some lace or any kind of pretty kind of fabric that you could either order on one of these websites, Spoonflower, any of these guys, you could um, make like a really beautiful, maybe even like, I don't know, maybe for a bride or a wedding or some kind of fabulous event you're all going to go to when lockdown is over. Now, because it's an irregular shape and I grabbed it off of the floor, um, you know, it, it's not quite long enough. But you can imagine that would be kind of badass. Sorry, that would be kind of bad arse <laughs> to wear to a wedding or I don't know, something. Just an idea, but thought like a lace suburban turban it's kind of like a contradiction all right love you guys bye